Working. Hi Aries, welcome to your love read for the week. I'm going to go ahead and do a love, weekly love reading. I hope you're fantastic. So let's go ahead and see what the messages are popping for you. Wow, so I just shuffled my clarifying deck as Queen of Pentacles and my regular deck is Queen of Pentacles. So many of you may be coming into money or having finance issues where you're being elevated in some way, you have more money coming in, or money could be a focus. You could also be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Um, okay, let's see for love, for Aries, for the week. Aries, love, for the week ahead. We have a two of swords. So we have here something where you have to make a decision. You're going back and forth in your mind. What's happening for Aries? Oh wow, so we have the death card. There's a major change or a transformation, something that would change something the way it is. And then we have a page of swords underlying air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or something about information you're receiving. Um, it could be someone who's watching you, observing you. Okay, we have a page of wands in the recent past. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Messenger. So what's coming in for Aries? Queen of Wands, wow. So you're taking an authority position. You have a lot of confidence. You could be getting someone's attention. It could be an air sign or a fire sign. But the death is in the crossing. So the death card represents major transformation, major change. Um, the closing of one chapter and then the opening of another chapter. So let's see what's coming in. Ace of Rods. So there's some new, exciting, inspiring energy coming into the situation. Something is waking you up. Okay, so your energy here is going to be the lovers. The lovers can be a choice. It represents Gemini, but it can be a choice in love. It can also be healing of a love relationship. It can be a union or a bond with a person. Chemistry. We have the Eight of Cups. Someone, it could be you feel like feeling like walking away. It could be somebody else feels like there's no bond and they're looking for more. Three of Wands is in your environment. Somebody is very ambitious, very focused on the future. They're very focused on their career. There could be someone waiting to hear from you as well. It could be a fire sign. Okay, we have here the energy of the Nine of Wands. You're very persistent. You don't give up on a situation. I feel like if you're in a relationship, you don't give up on the relationship. A page of pentacles does come in here though. You have basically three messengers, three pages. Taurus energy, air energy, earth sign, air sign, and fire sign. All these energies are here as messengers, but they're coming in as pages. So what is the Knight, the Three of Wands here in the environment? Okay, people are waiting to hear from you. You could be exerting a lot of power or authority. You could, you could be very strong in your presence. Okay. There could be another Aries around you like yourself because we have Queen of Wands, Emperor, Ace of Wands. What is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. 
and the four of water. So something that was boring or uninspiring is about to change. What is the page of swords underlying the love read for Aries? The wheel of good luck and good fortune. So fortune's wheel starts to turn for you, bringing about karmic changes. So what do we have here as the queen of wands? What is the queen of wands energy? Temperance, could be a Sagittarius, patience. Something could also be sparking you, um, bringing out anger in you with the death card and the crossing. There could be something about, you know, wanting to end a relationship perhaps. What is the queen or the page of coin? You get a lot of information from this page of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or someone with earth in their chart. Someone who wants to learn from you, they want to get to know you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, there's a big decision, there's a transformation, a spiritual wake-up call where you feel like you want more from a relationship. You want more harmony, you want more love, not so boring. Okay, so what is the outcome here with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups? Okay, so you get a lot of messages. Things become very busy. They start to propel forward um, because of this Page of Pentacles. I think I said Page of Cups, it's Page of Pentacles, Earth Sign, Energy. These are all childlike energies though, Seven of Swords on the bottom. They're all childlike, except for you. You're coming in as the Queen of Wands or the Emperor. Lovers is your energy. You're wanting healing and unity and, you know, chemistry. What is the Lovers here? with the judgment, a transformation, three of wands. Okay, somebody maybe ignores or doesn't pay attention because um, that's in your environment. Six of wands, getting a lot of attention from other people, kind of like a show off, someone who gets a lot of attention. What is the page of pentacles here? It's a nine of pentacles, earth sign energy that's single or independent. Um, what is the lovers here for Aries? Why is it here? The sun card, happiness, joy, success, could be Leo. You want to be happy. You want to have a union that's good, but why is judgment here? Why is there a transformation, a wake up call? Why is the judgment right here? Okay, Queen of Wands energy, you take back your power. Sorry for there's a kid outside. I don't know what's going on. Ace of Coin is on the bottom. So you have to make a big decision to transform yourself into someone very dynamic. Um, someone who is optimistic and positive and self-empowered, very inspiring. Someone who know, goes after what she wants and, or he wants and knows how to get it. The sun card here, happiness, joy, success. Your energy, what you're finding out is a queen of wands. You're going to be feeling very dynamic, passionate. What is the queen of wands and the temperance? You could be feeling frustrated or angry as well with Mars in Virgo. Little things, little irritating things like that sound <laughs> just started. It's like, why? Okay, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. So there's a partnership. There's the Six of Cups. There's an emotional history that you could have with a person. Um, 
This could be a fire sign from your past as well. Ooh, four of coin and four of cups. Somebody hasn't let you go. They're still thinking about you. What is this four of cups about right here? High priestess, following your intuition, distancing yourself, um, staying aloof, maybe even playing hard to get, sort of. What is the wheel of fortune changing everything? The emperor, Aries energy here, taking back control, owning your power. The outcome shows that it's an earth sign that comes in with a lot of information. They want to communicate with you. What is this outcome here, Eight of Wands? Wow, somebody feels guilty. Why do they feel guilty? Somebody feels guilty about what they've done. They feel like they can't let go of something they did. What is Five of Cups? Okay, Nine of Air. It's really on their mind, so they want to reach out to you and let you know um, how they're feeling. It's a burden on their shoulders, so they're kind of... Somebody could be dumping, like they're kind of dumping. Like they want to express how they feel to you. What is this outcome here? Two of rods. And the seven of coin. Somebody is trying to make a decision of what to do um, in a relationship. What's the outcome here for Aries? Eight of Cups. You feel like your emotions overwhelm you and you feel like this is not satisfying for me. I don't want to be in this situation. Whatever it is, it could be any kind of relationship. Friend, family member, anything. You're like, I don't want to be in this situation. I feel, you know, I feel unfulfilled. So let's pull one of these Oracle cards again for love this time. So you're getting multiple offers, multiple opportunities. Your energy is the judgment, the sun, and the queen of wands with the lovers. So you've transformed or you've changed in some way. Okay, let's see what's coming in for Aries. Message here for Aries in love and relationships. Message for Aries. The new life card again. Oh my goodness. So for many of you, this is a new chapter. This is a new beginning, a new life essentially. So there's multiple opportunities. There's a page of pentacles, a page of air, a page of wands. There shows the energy of you wanting more and really wanting to make a decision about what to do next. Um, okay, so I'm going to get one last card for the Eight of Cups. Why does Aries feel like they want to leave a situation? I mean, you put a lot into it, so why do you want to leave? Queen of Air. You want to make a smart choice. Could be a Libra. Okay, Knight of Cups. Somebody comes in with a romantic offer. You could be blocking someone as well. If, if there's a person coming towards you wanting to reconcile, you could be saying no. Like, I don't want to reconcile. Message here for Aries with the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, okay, a victory. Um, you got someone's attention, basically. So there's competition over you, Five of Wands, Ten of Cups. So there's some kind of competition over you. Okay, there's a king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo as well right here. Um, strength card could be Leo. 
But I will leave it here for you, Aries, for your love read for the week. Thank you for tuning in and take care.